Hey, it's Megan. Welcome to the channel, my friend. In this video, I'm sharing 13 pumpkin bucket hacks for fall or Halloween. Now for this video, I'm using two styles of pumpkin buckets, one from Ace Hardware and one is from Walmart, but they both work. They're both about 8.5 inches. I believe Target also sells pumpkin buckets. Anyways, for this first DIY, all you have to do is just make some drainage holes in the bottom of your pumpkin. You can use a drill or a box cutter, remove the handles, and then replace the flimsy handles with something a little bit more strong, like a Dollar Tree garden chain or even some rope or twine. Pick up a solar light, solar step light from Dollar Tree, place that into your pumpkin bucket and ta-da, you have a beautiful pumpkin lantern. And if you can't find the solar step lights at Dollar Tree, no worries, my friend, you can use any outdoor battery operated light, preferably on a timer. I think this looks really pretty and it's a great way to light up your outdoor space for fall or Halloween. For this next idea, you can paint your pumpkin or you can leave it as is. I'm painting mine white. I prefer spray painting. You don't have to spray paint. You can totally hand paint your pumpkin just the same. Color back in the eyes and then you wanna cut down a little piece of a pool noodle into small strips. Pick up two of Dollar Tree's witch stockings. You're gonna cut them away from the little hoop and stuff them with your pool noodle. You could also use plastic grocery bags for this. It really doesn't matter. Use whatever you have on hand. Just glue the witch stockings to the bottom of your pumpkin because we just gave our pumpkin some legs. And with the second pair of witch stockings, you're going to cut the feet into mittens or hands. Originally, I tried to cut mittens and I kept on trying to overcorrect. They ended up being nubs. So my pumpkin just has nub hands, which is fine. It still looks good. You'll, you'll see how it turns out. And then add a hat. I got this hat from Hardy City. You can find something very similar at Dollar Tree in the costume section around Halloween. And that is it. Now I made a second one just using an orange pumpkin and the only difference is I glued a witch hat to the top. Y'all, I'm really into fun, like junior Halloween, I guess I would say, like think Charlie Brown, Disney Halloween, nothing too spooky. These are adorable in my mind. I love them. I was inspired to make them with something I saw at Michael's. And yeah, I, I just love this. I think it's very fun for outdoor decorating Halloween. This next idea is super simple, but super impactful. So just paint a pumpkin white or whatever color you want your pumpkin to be. Grab some of Dollar Tree's rub on transfer letters and transfer whatever you want your pumpkin to say. I want mine to say trick or treat. You could have it say boo, go away, happy fall, Merry Christmas, really what, whatever you want it to say. Then I was searching for a lid because I wanted this to be a cookie slash treat jar. And I found that coffee lids fit perfectly on both pumpkins, on this style of pumpkin and the other style of pumpkin. For the knob, I just used a legit doorknob I had laying around. I'd saved it from a dresser I had redone a long time ago, and that is it. But this would also look great if you just wanted to keep your pumpkin orange. And this also fits the Walmart style pumpkin. Like I said, the Walmart and Ace Hardware pumpkins are about the same size. So all the DIYs work for both. Now this is the most simple DIY. It's also probably my most favorite. All I did was I painted a pumpkin white, added a jar inside the pumpkin and added my utensils for just a subtle Halloween or fall decor. I don't know, I think jack-o'-lanterns are fall. Some people think they're Halloween, but either way, it's a neutral fall-ish Halloween touch inside. Grab a larger, pumpkin from Dollar Tree. This is These are only $3. They're in the Dollar Tree Plus section. It's a really great deal for such a large pumpkin. At Walmart, you'd have to pay, I don't know, like five or $6. Anyways, grab one of their larger pumpkins, remove the stem, and then paint your pumpkin white. You don't have to spray paint. Once again, I love spray painting. I just find it easy to stab it with a chopstick, spray it outside, and then stick it outside to dry. Then you need two pumpkin buckets, paint one yellow, grab a planter, a foam wreath form, and some brown moss. All three of those items can be found at Dollar Tree. Glue your wreath form to your planter, glue the moss to the wreath form, and then you're just gonna start gluing and adding your pumpkins. Gluing as you go, and when you finish, you will have cracks in between the pumpkins. No worries. You can just cover that up with some brown moss. It looks great, I promise. And then add back your Dollar Tree pumpkin stem. Ta-da, that is it, my friend. You have a really large pumpkin topiary. 
The stuff like this online, this size, by the way, is like three times what it costs to make it. And I think it looks great. My personal opinion. Just grab a Dollar Tree candlestick or any candlestick, hot glue your pumpkin to your candlestick, and then you'll want a taller candlestick. Or you can do, I, years ago, I made a DIY where I glued two Dollar Tree candle holders together. So I just used that. And this makes a really nice little vignette. Is that how you say it? Vignette? I think so. <laughs> of just lanterns. I think this would be really pretty if you have a front porch or if you decorate for Halloween indoors by your fireplace. It looks so cool. I've been really big into colorful, traditional colors for Halloween and fall decor for outside these past two years. All right, so pick up a pumpkin, for like all these DIYs, pick up a pumpkin in every single DIY, and you're gonna use a box cutter to cut out the jack-o'-lantern's face. Now, this, it's not hard. For me, using a box cutter was scary, but I found it easy to start cutting with a box cutter and then just go back with some kitchen shears to get precise cuts. Then you wanna paint the inside of your pumpkin. You don't have to use spray paint, but I do suggest using a metallic or some type of shiny paint on the inside. And then you can paint the outside, whatever color you want. I debate it between black or white, but I just went with heirloom white because it's pretty much the same spray paint I'm using for this entire video. To style this, I just used some Dollar Tree leaf florals and then added some flameless candles. And this is gorgeous, very warm, very cozy. This is fall to me. I love that cozy, warm feel. For this next idea, you're gonna need a pumpkin with drainage holes. So just like the first DIY, use a drill or a box cutter to make drainage holes on the bottom. Grab some type of planter or you could even use a coffee tin. It doesn't matter what it looks like, it's gonna be covered up. Cut down a piece of pool noodle that's about the same size as your planter and hot glue that to the bottom. Grab one of Dollar Tree's broomsticks. And the cool thing about these broomsticks is they, it's like they were tailor made to fit inside the pool noodle. So stab that into your pool noodle. No hot glue is needed. You don't need to glue the broomstick to the pool noodle. It fits in there as snug as a bug in a rug, right? Then grab a creepy cloth, also available at the old DT. Add a boatload of hot glue and add your pumpkin bucket to the top. Now this next part is gonna be totally a personal preference. You can customize this however you want. What I did is just picked up some Dollar Tree ribbon, made a bow and use some of Dollar Tree's wire to wrap that around my pumpkin's neck. I used the mesh ribbon, bundled it up and used some wire to make like a collar for my pumpkin. There was no rhyme or reason to this. And I'm really not a great bow maker. So I just did what looked good enough from a distance, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Then you're going to want, well, you don't have to, but I really think this makes the DIY. I got some battery operated outdoor fairy lights. They're on a timer. I put that inside my pumpkin head and hot glued a witch hat to the top. When I hot glued the witch hat, I did not hot glue it all the way around. It's just on each side. So I could still dip my hand in there and grab out the fairy lights if I want to. But this is super cute. I think it looks cute during the day and looks great at night. And just to show you, see, I can still dip my hand in there. So I only did two dabs of hot glue on each side of the head. This next idea is it's easy and it's simple and it looks cool. Just make some drainage holes on the bottom of your pumpkin, add a plant, add a garden chain and hang it up as a hanging planter. You could paint your pumpkin if you wanted to. You could flip it around so you only see the pumpkin side and stencil your initial on there. The possibilities are endless. Cut out the back part of your pumpkin. So a little bit less than half, like one third of the pumpkin. I just use regular kitchen shears for this. These pumpkins are not very thick, y'all. They're very easy to cut into. Then some tinsel stems and replace the flimsy little plastic handle with these wired tinsel stems, or you could even use wire. I made a bow. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not a great bow maker. I made this bow and it took me about 45 minutes, but I did follow Ramon at home's tutorial. I'll have his video linked in the description. There'd be no point in me trying to share with you how I made this bow because it looks good enough, but he's a great teacher and he'd make some really nice bows. So I'll have his channel linked in the description. Anyways, I added this to my outdoor light. This looks super cute in the day, super cute at the night. It's just, once again, a fun Halloween decor. Cut out the jack-o'-lantern's face using a box cutter or scissors. I used both. 
spray paint the inside gold or some type of metallic color, add some twine to your pumpkin and hang it on a shepherd's hook. Now, some solar lights like these large, larger Walmart solar lights will fit directly into the pumpkin. But if you don't have the big solar lights, I, I know this is like not everyone has these. No worries. You can use one of Dollar Tree solar step lights. You could use a any type of outdoor battery operated lights, preferably on a timer. And I think this looks really cool. This looks cool during the day and it looks really cool at night. The flameless candles, probably my favorite. It gives off a really nice warm glow. Anyways, if you are still here, thank you so, so much. And if you're here wondering where I've been, look, y'all, it was my daughter's senior year. She graduated and I really got into my feels. It was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is the end. So as a family, we spent as much time together as we could. We took as many vacations as we could. We dedicated so much time. I start crying again. We dedicated so much time to her senior activities. I cannot believe that she's all grown up and she's going to college this fall. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. I'm, I'm over it. I'm happy for her. <laughs> Anyways... That's where I've been. I just been spending time with my family. She's going to go to college this fall. I'm back making YouTube videos. Thank you so, so much for sticking around. <clears throat> Excuse me. I swear I'm not crazy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more fall DIYs, I have an entire fall playlist. I'll have that linked in the description along with Ramona Holmes' uh, channel and video that I watched to make a bow. And yeah. That is it, my friend. Thank you so, so much for watching. You're the real MVP for still being here. So much love to you.